Buying Microsoft 365 licensing is expensive. We all know that. There's really no way around that. And that's true whether you're a small company or a large enterprise. Obviously, it's even more expensive the farther up you go just because the numbers add up. Having said that, thinking only about cost in terms of the price per license or the price per, su per subscription is probably the wrong way to think about it. And the reasons are, there's really a couple different reasons. The first is, if you've got more than just a few users in your, in your tenant, the likelihood of there being multiple ways to buy subscriptions and licenses to give your users what they need in terms of the services and features that, that, that fit, their, you know, fit their usage prof profile is myriad. It can go a couple of different ways. It's not cut and dry. Despite the fact that Microsoft has a fairly structured bundle, you know, set of bundles, which are not very well named, so it can get confusing, but they do have these bundles. And so it's easy to sort of fall into the trap that it's either, I'm either an E3 or I'm a business premium or I'm a, a, you know, an F3 and that makes sense for all my users. With any size on your tenant, particularly if you get above hundred users, that just isn't the case. There are, there are various ways to skin the, ca skin the cat on that one. So I think the best place to start, if you're thinking about what's the best way to try to get the most bang for your buck, is how do I make sure that I'm optimizing the purchasing, or the purchase of subscriptions and license applications to the actual usage of my employees and making sure that they have what they need and nothing more. And so in my mind, if you can find a CSP who can help you focus on that, you're more likely to get good return for your M365 dollar than you are to just shop for a discount per license uh, on your subscription. First of all, unless you're very large, you're not gonna get much of a discount at all. It's just not possible because the economics aren't there for the way the Microsoft program works. Second, it still doesn't help you, let's say you're getting a decent discount, two, three, four, maybe even 5%. If you're significantly overbuying or over provisioning in terms of the licenses and the subscriptions that you have, 5% off of a big number still is paying too much. So try to focus on the optimization. Make sure that you have the right subscriptions and the right licenses for your employees. No more, no less than the feature sets that your employees need.